This is the Acer Aspire Vero. And yes, if you have been following the channel, you will know that we took a look at this before. But just like any other laptop, this gets a well-needed refresh. And the one we have here, it's the newer 14-inch model. We tried it out, put it through its paces, and all we have to say is that this is not just value for money, but you can also play your part and save the planet. Of course, one step at a time. So, we've covered the Vero before, and certainly, overall, there really isn't that much changes. You're still going to get a 100% recyclable packaging made mostly out of recycled paper, and the laptop's soft cover and the sheet are also made of 100% recycled plastic. To add on, the sleeve to protect the power adapter during shipping also makes use of recycled cardboard, and this entire compartment can be reused to make a laptop stand. Again, it isn't a fancy unboxing experience for sure, but if you're someone who wants to take that effort to go green even just a little, it's still a pretty pleasant unboxing experience. We then talk about the Vero itself, and you'll instantly notice the unique look and the feel of the chassis. The last time around, we took a look at the grey colour, and that wasn't too bad, but here we have the blue. <laughs> I've gotta say, we definitely do very much prefer this colourway. And remember, this actually isn't paint, but rather the colour of the plastic itself. So it's pretty unique in a way. And of course, where the green effort comes in is the fact that this chassis is made up of 30% PCR materials. According to Acer, that would be the top and bottom cover, the screen bezel, and the operating surface. The keycaps themselves are also made up of 50% PCR materials, and that ocean glass touchpad makes use of ocean-bound plastic. To remind you of all of that, you'll find the PCR text on the bottom corner of the operating surface and the R and E keys will have that font mirrored to remind you of the, well, the three R's. Reduce, reuse, recycle. After using the Vero for about three weeks, we really got to say that the build quality is rather great and it doesn't fall short as compared to any other laptop that makes use of similar plastics. The 14-inch variant also has a manageable weight of about 1.5 kilograms, which makes it much more portable as compared to the 15.6-inch variant. Will this chassis stand the test of time? Absolutely. We would say that there's no reason to doubt that. As for the display, you are of course getting a 14-inch panel. It's a regular IPS panel which sports a resolution of 1920 by 1080 running at 60Hz and covers 100% sRGB while having a max brightness of about 300 nits. This is a display that's pretty much par for the course. It isn't amazing in any aspect, but it'll still be great for general usage, content consumption, a little bit of content creation depending on what you do, but even gaming. We do however find that the 300 nits brightness is still a tad low, even though it actually is already an upgrade from the previous 15.6 inch, but it would say that 400 nits would have been welcome. As for the camera and microphone, they aren't spectacular in any way, but it's definitely not bad. It definitely gets the job done, and at the very least, it's 1080p. The same can be said for the speakers as well. They are located on the bottom, firing downwards, and well, they sound mediocre at best. Again, it gets the job done, but that's about it. The keyboard and touchpad, on the other hand, however, are probably the best parts about this laptop. The keyboard, it's honestly fantastic. They feel great with just the right amount of key travel, and it's really comfortable to use for long periods of time. The keys do feel a little more cushioned compared to others, and they do have a kind of, well, I would say a much lower tone. In keyboard terms, they do have more of a talk rather than a clack, but it's not really a talk, it's just that it's not that high pitched. Just lower tone. Anyways, the touchpad is also of a decent size, and the glass texture is just as great as any others that aren't derived from the ocean. There's also a fingerprint reader at the top left corner for easy and fast authentication. Now with this refresh, you do of course get new specifications, and that also comes with a new set of ports. In terms of specs, you'll be getting an Intel Core i7-1255U, 16GB of LPDDR4X RAM, and half a terabyte of PCIe Gen 4 SSD storage. 
And so for the ports, we are also talking two USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type A ports, a Thunderbolt 4 port, which is Type C, a 3.5mm headphone mic combo, and HDMI 2.0. But under the hood, you will also be getting Wi Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.2. Now, Wi Fi 6E might be quite the huge upgrade depending on your setup. Not only will you be able to achieve faster speeds overall, but more importantly, you will also get access to the 6 GHz band with a compatible router, and of course, if your country and your ISP supports it. And again, you are getting all of that in a laptop that's really affordable. Have we talked about price yet? As configured, this Acer Aspire Vero will set you back roughly 1500 Singapore dollars or just under 900 US dollars. Though, you will also usually find sales and at the time of filming this review, here in Singapore, you can actually get this, same specifications, for just about 1300 Singapore dollars. Now, if you're in the US or anywhere else in the world, there are a number of skills available and you can probably get it for much less. Now, the performance is great too, no issues on that front. Pretty capable scores in Cinebench R23, and you can even play Valorant on it at 1080p high settings and still achieve over 140 frames per second. If you're talking like a more demanding games like Genshin, you can also play it pretty well with adequate settings. You needn't worry about temperatures either, all is well under control. Lastly, battery life. Battery life would certainly be one of the main concerns when considering getting such a laptop to be your daily driver. This is yet another strong suit for the Vero. In eco mode using VeroSense, you could get just about 10 hours of average use in a real world scenario with that 56 watt hour battery. So that means a day of use without the charger, not really an issue at all. And that's really what sums up the Acer Aspire Vero. It's a laptop that does everything pretty well at a price that's really affordable. Now, you might argue how green you can really get with a laptop of all things, and to a certain extent, you'll be right. But at the end of the day, we simply have to do our part, and if this is something that would help towards that goal in one way or another, while being able to cater to the wishes of a general consumer, why not? Every step counts. Anyways, if you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. If you like what we do, do give this video a like and subscribe to us for more of such content. Don't forget to follow all our social channels on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. And we'll see you in the next one. See ya! Thank <laughs> you.